The Paul Scherer Institute, PSI, is the largest research center for natural and engineering sciences within Switzerland. It offers a unique combination of accelerators and large research facilities to the world. Every year, there are more than 5,000 visits of scientists from around the world engaged in examining materials or biological structures or testing aerospace components at PSI. Accelerator-based research at PSI utilizes highly complex and exceptionally reliable particle accelerators. These form a part of large-scale research facilities such as the Synchrotron Light Source, SLS, and the Spallation Neutron Source, SYNQ. Accelerators employed for testing materials under irradiation are the high-intensity proton ring cyclotron. This generates the world's highest intensities of the secondary particles, such as pions and muons, but also electrons, as well as fast, thermal, cold, and ultra-cold neutrons. In total, 22 beam lines in PSI's experimental hall allow a large number of fundamental and applied experiments to be conducted simultaneously. PSI's proton irradiation facility, PIF, utilizes protons generated in the superconducting cyclotron comet, which mainly serves the center for proton therapy, Switzerland's sole facility for the treatment of specific malignant tumors using protons. All PSI accelerators are monitored and controlled from the central control room. Its crews work in an around-the-clock three-shift mode seven days a week. Optimal settings are tuned precisely to provide reliable and stable beams. The Proton Irradiation Facility, PIF, offers dedicated setups for radiation exposures of accelerator or aerospace components using either protons or secondary electrons. While the protons are delivered by the comet cyclotron, the secondary electrons are provided by the Paul Scherer Institute's high-intensity proton ring cyclotron. One major advantage of PIF is that it can generate realistic particle spectra covering radiation exposures from all conceivable satellite orbits or vehicle trajectories. The beam monitoring system of PIF is therefore individually chosen and suited to the particular needs of each planned radiation experiment, for example, for low fluxes or wide field beams. The optimal test procedure is determined during a preparation period of extensive information exchange between users and PIF physicists, Experimental settings are adjusted to meet both space mission requirements and specific test conditions. Each irradiation experiment begins with a beam tuning and dosimetry calibration. After calibration, the user can set up the device to be tested in the beam and start irradiation. The facility is constructed in a user-friendly manner to allow for uncomplicated user setup and straightforward operation procedures. All runs are conducted in a fully automated way using predefined test conditions. Test devices, such as memory chips, can be moved through the beam using an XY table. The characterization of the component's radiation hardness allows potential hazards to be assessed already at the design stage. The Paul Scherer Institute maintains an infrastructure with highly developed support services and logistics. Consequently, the Proton Irradiation Facility is able to offer time slots to more than 60 irradiation experiments per year. The PIF crew welcomes annually about 150 researchers from all over the world. The Paul Scherer Institute and the Proton Irradiation Facility with their highly qualified personnel are ready to tackle demanding irradiation tests for many different applications from organizations and institutions, universities, and industry. PIF, being located within particle physics and having experience from many space missions, offers state-of-the-art infrastructure, as well as innovative solutions and know-how in simulation and detection technology. Over the past decades, PSI and the European Space Agency have shared a long-standing and successful cooperation with the PSI PIF facility, designated as one of the three ESA-supported test facilities, helping in the quest to develop highly reliable spacecraft. Virtually all ESA missions have used the PIF facility for tests and qualification of their components and payload parts.